Hello, bring a trailer. This is Caleb at Griffith Auto Sales. Uh, we're gonna do a cold start video here of our 2015 F-350. It's been sitting in here for a couple weeks. I've been out of town. 67,012 miles. It's a cold start, but it's also in a 68 degree garage. But. Let's pull it out and do a walk around. Um, everything in the interior functions as it should let's run through some of the stuff mirrors up down the mirrors are manually extending and the convex at the bottom is manual as well um, power windows both fronts are automatic rear Windows all work well. Lock, unlock, everything works. Uh, let's see here. Your light switch, which we just did a safety inspection, which includes all exterior lights. Um, wipers work as they should. I have cruise control here. Your Bluetooth controls here, some radio controls. Tow haul mode and your manual shift mode. Uh, we have four wheel drive, four high, rear differential lock, four low. no clunking no hesitations radio works as it should can't say I've tried the CD player but I don't see why it wouldn't work uh, exhaust brake indicator lights up right there when the exhaust brakes on trailer brake controller obviously there's no trailer attached four auxiliary switches um, I'm not real sure if they're hooked into anything cup holders 12 volt power outlet another one over here your sink hookup downhill assist traction control um, air conditioning's blowing cold I'll get a thermometer put on that if I don't and you want to see that remind me here really the interior in this truck is pretty near flawless it's actually pretty amazing um how nice it is it's i doubt there was more than one or two people rode in this thing most of the time uh here's your pennsylvania registration card so it was registered to ppg industries which is you know ppg does paints chemicals all kinds of stuff um it was registered close by is cranberry township pa which is in the pittsburgh area um but i'll have to look at the carfax again but i believe a lot of the carfax shows service records all over the country so the truck did a lot of traveling to um i'm guessing home shows and contractor type shows stuff like that For what we have in this box here.
I'll have to open that up to see what's in there. Safety triangles and a fire extinguisher. Fold down armrest, cup holders. A few scuffs on the driver's side rear door panel here from loading stuff in and out. Not too bad. This top box is easily removable. Uh, it's pretty much just four pins hold it in place. Uh, so if you if you don't need that top box or you, you can't have the height, it's easily removable. Adjustable headrest in the front two seats. Dirty feet. All your owner's manuals, spare tire lock, diesel supplement. Everything's still in the packaging. So it does have six seat belts and a dual center console in the front, upper and the lower. The tires are all pretty much new. This roof rack is some sort of powder coated steel. And it's showing its age. You could kind of use re powder coated or painted. Um, but it's not too bad. So, this whole truck had a vinyl wrap on it. It was off whenever we got it, but there's just a few places that you can see. Like these steps up the side. See, there's a little bit of yellow in there. So, you know, prior to us getting the truck, the wrap had been removed. Uh, the entire bed is aluminum and powder coatings, flaking, peeling. You know, it's been touched up some you know it's not perfect um, try to show you everything I can here uh, it still has a factory tow hitch it's incorporated here factory trailer plug locking compartment here for your fuel and diesel exhaust fluid in this compartment they had a display board with um, a bunch of different kinds of adhesives on it that was screwed there's one screw hole there one screw hole there and they had a display board in there showing their different adhesives this compartment they must have had a t tv in here with you know some sort of a sales 
um, I guess the sales video showing. Um, you know, TV was not in here when we got it. Um, we have your sound system, four Phoenix Gold speakers, your 110 outlet, and your TV mounting panel. The rear is pretty slick. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. So both of these doors have removable. You can put them in any different slot. Um, some compartment here. And anything you see in this video that has the plywood, is easily removable so if you open up you know you blow out all the plywood and you'd have one big open compartment you know the options are kind of endless what you could do with this truck it's definitely unique We have an LED interior light in here, and we have audio video controls. Power inverter, power strips, different breakers. You know, if you wanted to, you could blow out that panel over there, this panel back here, um, get rid of all the plywood and open it up more. And then there's four supports, tubular supports, which are, I'm guessing, aluminum as well. All four corners to support the roof. Inside of that box on the roof is another basket similar to that, a Yakima, I believe. Check out the pictures. I took a bunch of up in there. Um, so yeah, that's it. I wish I could tell you what brand this body is. I haven't found a label. Um, I'll continue looking. The only thing that really has a name are the steps, but that could be just a step, I'm guessing. So I'll, I'll continue looking and if I do find that, That'll definitely be noted in the comments. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions or want any more videos or pictures, feel free to ask. Be happy to.